What's going on YouTube? Captain Ron, the Master Apprentice, coming with you into another video today. Today we are going to do some installation on the Dirty Old Macs. Uh, I've actually had some stuff sent to me uh, from two companies. One of them, Boost Auto. I emailed them uh, quite some time ago. I've been super busy, haven't had a chance to actually do a video about this, so sorry guys for the late delay on the video, but I am getting around to it. But we are going to do a installation video on mirror replacement, specifically the glass, on a set of their Boost uh, Auto Mirrors. Uh, the ones I have, they are pretty scuffed up, and for whatever reason, the top three or the bottom three LEDs will not illuminate whenever I turn my turn signal on. So you have the top three on one side, the top three on the other side, but the bottom three won't light. So we're going to replace the glass. We're going to get in there and find out what exactly is going on with that and get that taken care of. Second thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna install some new LED lights on the truck. I had another company from Amazon get a hold of me and they were like, hey, I got a set of these uh, these LED cube lights, look like these. Pretty simple standard installation on them, but they were like, hey, can you do a review video over these and show, how, show people how easy they are to install and what they look like on your truck? And I was like, sure, I'll be more than happy to do so. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to installing these today and take a look and see how easy it is. So stay tuned. So as for the Boost Auto Mirrors, they sent me two replacement glass mirrors. Look, there's me. Hi. Um, sent me two replacement glass mirrors, both left and right. As you can see, they've got the LEDs already pre-installed in them. Um, you do have to give them measurements for your motor size so they can send you the right glass for the right mirrors um, so you have the right application. Uh, you get the required hardware, which are these um, little forks here to help keep pressure on the mirror itself. Plus, they also send you... Uh, some extra wiring for the LED connectors so you can get those connected properly as well. Mine already have these connectors more than likely put in there, but we're going to check and make sure to make to see if they're any good. And if they're not, we'll be replacing them. Oh, and uh, Boost Auto sent me a nice koozie. So, you know, if they sent me a koozie, we might as well use it. I know, it's not the pineapple kind for those of you guys who are there, but we'll make sure to get that inside there in just a minute. So as for the LED lights, they come pretty standard. Um, you get two LED lights in the package, and you get two packages of hardware. Now I got one of them opened up, just so you guys can see, but it's pretty much basically a mounting bracket, an Allen head key, uh, some nuts and bolts and stuff like that to secure it to the mounting brackets. Um, they come already pre-cut and stripped a little bit for wiring them up to your own personal needs. Um, so like I said, they're pretty standard, pretty standard lights. Um, I did test them out with a nine volt just to make sure they both work and man, are they super bright. So we're going to install these in place of my fog lights that I currently have in the truck and, uh, see how it looks. All right. Now that we got our beverage taken care of, let's get to the mirrors. All right. So as you guys can see, I've got the right hand mirror here already popped out a little bit and I know it's going to be kind of hard to see down in here. Let me see if I can uh, make it work. But there are little clips on the back side of the mirror. Let me grab the other mirror and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on the back side of the mirror, there's these little clips and you'll have to get those disengaged from the motor itself to get the mirror off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my camera and we're going to get this mirror off here and then I'll show you a little bit more. Alright, so we got the mirror off here. I broke a couple of the tabs, but that's okay. This is a junk mirror. It's coming off and going in the trash anyways. So what we got is we've got the line here that runs into our connector for the LEDs. If you don't have this already, that's what that little baggie's for. So you guys can get this wired in. No big deal. Um, you got two other lines here as well. I'm assuming these are, oh, these are for your uh, defrost grid 
because this does have defrost. So if you have that option on your car, then you've got that. Um, but to get these disconnected, these are just push connections. You just pull those right apart. And then as for this connection here, I'm grabbing my trusty pick and we'll get this popped out of here like so, that easy. Now those four little tangs, or those three little tangs I told you that came with it, that's what these are right here. So these will just kind of slide in onto the back of the new mirror. That'll keep help keep everything stabilized and keep it from doing one of these numbers whenever you're driving down the road. So like I mentioned, you got these three spots right here. That's what these are for. So you just take one of these and we're going to make sure that we put them in the right way. So using the old mirror as reference, the tongue is going to be going in. It really only go in one way. I don't know why I had to look at that, but you know what? That's why I'm a master apprentice. I ask questions even when I don't need to. So we get all three of these put in like so. And there is a little tang that you need to make sure you get it up and over so that it sits properly. This one's being pain. A little manual adjusting as needed. And for those of you with really good headphones, if you happen to hear the Jaws theme in the background, my daughter got the flute uh, to play in the band. So she's upstairs messing around with that and playing the uh, da 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 So, once we get all these three put on, we'll come right back. Alright guys, we got our three tangs put on here. So now it's just as easy as going backwards. So we're going to hook up our two connections back up for the rear def or the uh, mirror defrost. Get those put back on. Try not to drop the mirror while you're at it. And we're also going to hook up the LED turn signals. So now before we put this back on it's time for a test run. Make sure that all those LEDs work. A few moments later. Alright guys so we gotta have keys to make the truck work. So after we got the keys look at that. All six LEDs lighting up. That's awesome. So now it's just as simple as get lined up and pushing it back on to the mirror. Give it a good secure push. Make sure it doesn't come back off. And you got one side done. Rinse and repeat for the other side. So as you guys can see, the issue we got right now is that the LEDs are supposed to all light up. All six of those are supposed to light. But, obviously we've only got three, not the bottom three. So there's something going on within the element of the LCDs themselves. Not to mention, I don't know where this came from. This was like this when I got it. But there's some sort of scuff or scrape. The other mirrors got one too. But doing this will allow us to get rid of that, get all the LEDs working, and we'll be good to go. And in what took me literally probably 15 minutes, now I have fully functioning LED turn signals, no more scuffed up mirror with the exception of my fingerprints, and they're looking pristine and brand new. All right guys, so it's day two of the build. Um, had to break this up into a couple of days because I basically ran out of light. So. I got both the lights mounted right now, and I'm gonna show you guys where they are. Um, try to show you guys where the uh, where I've got them mounted. Luckily, when I was looking around on 
my frame trying to find a place to mount these. <coughs> Excuse me. When I was looking around on my frame trying to find a place to mount these, I actually found a really good spot to put them. Uh, there was a couple of pre-drilled holes from something that used to be there a long time ago that uh, I need they were just perfect. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So if you guys look at my truck, nothing looks out of place. Until you get a little bit lower and they're just hiding right in there. So what I did is I got down here, I got down here and there was a bracket right down here where I actually were able to mount both of these lights with the existing hardware the bolt holes were already the same size um, just had to put a couple of washers in there to space everything around but they fit really well so then what i did is i took the person who had this before had these led lights on here and these right here and they really didn't work all that well um, they weren't that bright they were okay but uh, i was going to take those out and put the put the led lights in there but because of the amount of rust and crust on this truck uh the bolts that held those lights in were completely seized up and were not letting go so we had to find someplace new so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get the other side i got one side already wired up i'm going to get the other side wired up and then i'll show you guys what it looks like all right guys so it's a little bit darker now got the other one wired in so the person who had this before just had a little like push button down here at the bottom but i'm gonna go ahead and push it you guys will see how much illumination it is and then i'll show you what it looks like so there it is turned on nice and super bright and there they are hiding in the bumper of the duramax coming through those two little holes not enough to blind anybody, but definitely enough to uh, definitely enough to make it light up a little bit brighter and be a little bit better than those fog lights. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and we're actually going to replace the switch with an actual better switch to uh, make it a little easier for me to turn these off and on. So the person who had this before me ran the lines up here and there's just this little toggle switch. It kind of looks like a big toe. Uh, push it once, turns everything on, push it again, turns everything off. Pretty self-explanatory. But what I'm going to do is I've actually got a wiring harness from a Jeep Upfit that we did at one point that's got this nice little, nice little switch here that's just an actual flip switch. Three wires going into it, that connector down there has got three wires running into it so it's just a matter of splicing it so what i thought i would do is i actually pulled the uh let me get over here in the light so you can see this is where the button is for my uh my cargo light actually goes like this so the button on the top is cargo light but it didn't have an option down here i pulled it apart and there's enough room for me to run my connection up to here take a dremel cut a little hole up here, put my switch in, and then we'll have it wired up here in the dash where it's supposed to be. So let's go get that done. All right guys, so like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole into here. That way it makes room for the button. Button's gonna fit right nice and tight in there. So first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how big of a hole we need to make in the first place. So, we're going to, let's take a look at something real quick. Let's try something real quick. Just for the old shits and giggles. So this is gonna get cut off regardless. So we'll go ahead and cut this off. Like so, got our three wires. So it needs to be just a little bit bigger than the, the button I already have in here right now. So I'm going to see if I can find me a drill bit that's going to fit just a little bit bigger than this and get that drill hole, hole drilled. Alright guys, so I found a 7 8 spade bit that I'm going to use. So 
what we're going to do real quick is we're going to get a pencil and we're going to mark the center point of that just so we know where center actually is so using a straight edge a piece of paper or a ruler or something like that we're just going to cut diagonal corner to corner oops that was a little bit off way to go me can't throw a straight line yeah it was still pretty close so i don't know how well that shows up on camera actually pretty well so now we know where the center point of that is so now I can drill my hole. I may have to get another drill though. This impact's not going to work. So let me find where the drill ran off to and I'll be right back. Found the drill. Alright, so we're going to turn this down so I don't kill myself. And let's get this hole going. This isn't working like I wanted it to. Something tells me that's going to be too big. But we'll find out. Actually, it's my, uh, my spade bit wobbled on me just a little bit while I was doing it, but it's not terrible, I don't guess. Just looks recessed. So yeah, it did wobble on me a little bit. You can see the light through it, but that's nothing a little hot glue won't fix just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere once we get the installation done. So now that we got this put in, we can run our wires through, get them secured up to the other wires, and we'll be good to go. So let's head back over to the truck and see what we can do. All right, we got the wiring installed. Uh, please apologize the light. It is dark and this is all I got to work with. But uh, we got the button installed. It is up here looking like, kind of like a factory button. Uh, but when you flip them on, light illuminates. And we have really bright LEDs going everywhere. Turn it off, light goes off, and that's pretty much it. Really easy install to be entirely honest. Alright guys, that's about all we got for tonight. Again, a big shout out to Boost Auto. Um, they are the ones who supplied me with the mirror glass that we replaced on both sides. Uh, if you guys want to check out some really awesome uh, tow mirrors or any other accessories for your trucks, make sure you guys go check them out. Link down in the description as always. Plus, also big shout out to my Amazon affiliate that sent me the uh, LED cube lights to install on the truck. Those things went in super easy without any problem. Um, I will put an Amazon link down in the description below if you want to pick up a set of those yourself. So, pretty much that's about it. Like I said, uh, really easy install on the truck. Uh, we got a big weekend ahead of us. We got to go pick up uh, Mr. Rust Belt Mechanics truck. More details on that coming soon. Make sure you check out his channel, Rust Belt Mechanic, right here. But, uh, but yeah, big weekend. You guys enjoy your Labor Day weekend. Hope you have an awesome one. And as always, you guys stay awesome.